Howdy, pimps. There are two things in this world that can't be beat. Chicken and waffles. One, a delectable fluffy treat that when paired with a nice syrup and perhaps some butter provides an escape from this world into a sweeter one. And the other, a salty, greasy, artery-clogging answer to the meaning of life. Separately, they're, they're pretty good. But together, they're like a one-way fast track to good times. It's euphoria in a meal, and it transcends you into this state of nirvana. As if the perfectly cut square Belgian waffle and the sizzling salty heap of fried delight are telling you that the world is going to be okay. You're going to be okay. It's a battle between salt and sugar, and you know who wins? We do, pimps. It's like Papa Zoid always said, Little homie, ain't nothing more milk than a chicken and waffle. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A little did Papa Zoid know at the time that a game would release in the fall of 2005 that went by the name of Gun. If you've been in a GameStop any year from roughly 2006 to 2014, then you've seen this cover in the pre-owned section. Here we are in the GameStop, and bam, there's Gun right there. It's infamous. I remember this cover more than I remember my mama. It's loud yellow coloring, that badass skull, the tasteful thickness. I would often sit there in my youth staring at this cover for hours in GameStop, but I never bought it because I knew that as soon as I played it, I would become a man. And I just wasn't ready, so I, instead I, I, I played Red Dead Redemption one like a coward. However, roughly 10 days ago, I finally found the courage and I can firmly say, gun is the modern day solution to our quarrel, our qualms. We all have to fight to stay alive, but gun, gun keeps us living, pimps. And much like chicken and waffles, gun provides every nutritional food group to make a whole meal. It has boom booms, boom sticks, big budgets and scalping. It has 50 cows, rag dolls, hellboy and giblets. It has the answer. It has the divine characteristics that we teach in this church. And if everyone looks under their Chairs, you'll find a copy so that all of you can become holy pimps in the audience too. But most of all, what it has, uh, 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 what it has is this same feeling of completeness of nirvana. That same feeling that you achieve through pleasuring yourself to the taste of chicken and waffles. But unlike chicken and waffles, you can edge this shit for a mighty passionate eight hours. But what exactly is Gun beyond the bright yellow case, you may ask? Great question, pimp. Gun is a game where you can charge your horse until it collapses into exhaustion, heaving you right off the back into a flurry of 12 gauge destruction followed by 50 caliber corruption and with a small dual revolver dessert. Gun is a game where you can be on the hunt for a bear and instead lead him into a local town so that the Chinamen and the Prozies may dispatch him and a game that lets you go to our glorious heaven so that you may talk to Jesus himself and answer your deepest questions. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Gun is the type of game that you may write off if you have some kind of rare brain tuba that forces you to play the latest Ray Trace God Ray movie game made by people that want to be making movies anyways piece of dog shit. Shit. And if you are that person, I say, by all means, take your three copies of Red Dead Redemption 2 and you shove them up your ass, then pay a doctor 12 shock calls to fish it out because you don't deserve gun. Hell, you probably ain't even bleeding red, white, and blue like the rest of us. Gun is for the real men and the distinguished ladies that want to go back to that place, that want to return to that feeling of chicken and waffles under a hot sun and a cool breeze with a nice big cup of sweet tea on the side, that want to feel that feeling of being whole by dropping one engine at a time. Do you want that? Do you really want that? Then Jesus, quit stalling. Let's talk about gun. Starting off, let's get right into the horse. Uh, I mean horses. Just a step above the walking simulator is the riding simulator. In just about every horse-centric game, riding a horse is about as interesting as watching paint dry and has about as many mechanics to it. You hop on, you ride at a snail's pace, two days pass by, and blammo, your game crashes. Start again, bozo. It's brain dead, and so will you be once you've done 50 hours of it. The only new mechanic we've received in horse riding technology over the last 20 years of gaming is Red Dead Redemption 2's toe stubbing feature that keeps snapping my Tennessee walkers in two. But little did big gaming know that never soft, always hard cracked the case 13 years prior when they put horse drifting into gun. Hell yeah! Drift through a turn, through Tina, off a cliff. This is all I ever needed. Fuck you, Jim! But it doesn't stop there, pimps. They also added a stamina bar that upon depletion kills the horse, causing it to slip and slide across the floor while ejecting you right off into a flurry of bullets. My brothers in Christ, this gameplay is slipperier than Astro Glide. Speaking of Rockstar though, hot take coming, Gun has way better gameplay than Red Dead Redemption because it's more focused on being fun rather than realistic. And in the case of my beloved chicken and waffles comparison, Gun's gameplay is like the sweet pillowy waffles that makes you want 20 more as soon as you have that first bite. Instead of taking cover and sparingly dishing out bullets like it's a Soviet breadline, 
as you've done for the last 15 years of Rockstar Games, you can W key down hallways practicing your three gun like an alcoholic John Wick. It's the golden corral of unrelenting lead flying in the direction of Enli Outlaw or Injian that steps in the path of justice. But it's not just the power fantasy focus, it's also the freedom of choice, God bless. You could pick up a TNT barrel and heave it towards a group of incoming enemies, then blow it up, or just kick it across the town, then gently set it- <laughs> <laughs> this is to avoid an embarrassing scenario <laughs> where, <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> your whole- oh! You can take a meat shield or jump over the cannon man's balls or give people that authentic sports cuts experience. What cut are you looking for today, sir? J just a little bit off the top, nothing crazy. No problem, Miss Jake. You can mix in a little hatchet here, a little shooty there, and cap it off with a little dead eye. Sorry, I mean quick draw. Right, quick draw. You couldn't use dead eye to shoot cannonballs out of the air now, could you? Red Dead Redemption never stood a chance. And I know this is like comparing Titanfall to Tarkov and that it's not exactly fair, but shit, son. Life ain't fair. Cope and seethe, Cockstar fanboys. Why don't you call me when one of your games gets full leaning functionality? Now for the next topic, I would delve into the weapons more, but two things stand true, and only these two things matter pertaining to guns. Number one, use the 50 caliber rifle. Number two, use the shotgun when the 50 cal runs out of ammo. I refuse to elaborate. Moving on, let's talk about the story. It's like Indiana Jones meets Payback meets Unforgiven. Now I completely just made all that up, but it sounded right when I said it. In all reality, the story's like the fried chicken to the gameplay's waffle. It's the salty balance of pure testosterone, and I'm not just saying that because of Jenny's massive budgets. I'm saying that because this whole story is one giant kill spree led by the Punisher after his father was killed by Chucky on the orders of Hellboy and this kingpin-looking son of a bitch that keeps shooting people over mild inconveniences. Also, kill Crypto a has gun. a cameo. And all the executions are absolutely brutal, except for this one. This one's a little bit lackluster. Uh, this guy lit up all the explosives he had on him and then just blew himself up. We're in the wrong desert for you to be pulling that trick, but I like your spirit, kid. Enjoy your 72, buddy. God bless. All this to say... It's cinema. And if this hasn't convinced you, then I'll just say the side missions are also a gold mine for, for some pretty funny lines. Such as this. Turn myself in? Never! Killing that whore was my one reason for living. Moving onwards, most games have a very bitch-made way of doing cheats where you type in this or you press that button combo, but in Gun, you have to go to this rundown shack in the middle of nowhere, then walk over to this nearby mine shaft and make a nice calm entry, assuming you've already cleared out the hostages, <laughs> if you believe that song and dance, then grab a barrel of TNT, drag it out, place it exactly right here, then back up and BAM! Oh shit, did it wrong. Hang on. Back up and shoot it and BAM! You've unlocked unlimited ammo for the whole game. You're welcome. Anyways, let's talk about my one gripe with this game. Who the fuck made this final boss? Now, I'm not gonna say this is prototype level of crazy talk, but I'll say this final boss is damn close to that fight in the back of a McDonald's parking lot. Bullshittery. It's all dirty tricks and not the fun kind. Kind. They made this man immune to bullets, gave him unlimited TNT, then said, Have fun dodging the many napalm strikes that are- Jesus, I just can't take it anymore! Gun is 10 out of 10, chicken and waffles is 9 out of 10. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go bully some ch-